We are Free Kitchen, and you are checking out Art Road! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you very much. Salut! <laughs>
would work with such massive files, you know, 80 gig files and so on, so gigabyte files. And so, but I, I like it. I, uh, I don't know if it's a hobby, it's more of a semi-profession, I think, because it's related to the band. So, yeah. John? Not really. I, I work with music also, so the, the only time left, except for being with my family, is, you know, Watch movies, cook nice food and stuff like that. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I cook like shit. <laughs> Bjorn cooks nice. <laughs> yeah. you, you enjoyed your, your experience, your Beethoven experience? Yes, it was very frightening. Very, very scary. Uh, I had to bring out whatever good musician inside of me. <laughs> that, hello. Uh, was, um, Really, it was really, really scary uh, because I'm a rock and roll guy. Uh, even if I can play folk music, I still need a beat and so on. And uh, just following the conductor uh, with his damn baton, the stick. And it was very hard stuff to play because it was written for violin, which has this little neck and is tuned in fifths, while guitar is, is this neck. Uh, and tune in, in fourths and so on. So it was it was very hard. It took me eight months to learn it. 140 pages of written music. But uh, but I was very rewarding because it was okay. It was quite windy. It was outside, so I had to play and sometimes push down the sheet music as so, ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> because <coughs> if I would get lost, I would never find my way back. It was like ah, where am I? I'm not that good sight reader like Bjorn. He can read right off the bat. I write much more music than I actually read. So. I'm uh, not that good, but it was really interesting. We'll do it again. So. <coughs> you played, you played yeah. jazz? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played a lot of jazz. Play? Yeah, I still play in the jazz band, yeah. We're, uh, we're a nine-piece band. We play a lot of uh, old uh, songs, uh, arrangements from the 50s uh, in our area in Sweden. It's really, really cool. Like a semi mini big band kind of thing. So, yeah. And what about Free Kitchen Tours in USA? We, uh, we're actually talking about a U.S. tour, um, perhaps later this year, beginning of the next one. Uh, we've done a couple of festivals uh, in, uh, in Georgia, which was really, really nice, and it's, it's a good audience for Kitchen and the U.S., but uh, we're probably going to do it together with, with a couple of other bands, like a, a free bill thing, so, but it's, it's under production, so yeah. Did you learn some more, some new words? French words? I learned some today, but I wrote them down. Cacahuète. 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 Yeah. What is that? Cacahuète. Two nuts. Two nuts. I think it's a good thing to have as a snack. Yeah. With a beer. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Uh, you stay s seven days in France? More. Yeah. Just cool. Four days. Yeah. Now it's the first day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toujours le premier jour. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seventeen camels of a poor slut's butt. Well done, Dad.